Hello Gorgers, we're on view, this time for our sale on the 31st of July and just for a change we're going to do everything asked about face so we're in the jewellery land uh, looking at what's in the jewellery. There's a sort of a, a reasonable selection of uh, assorted jewellery and watches, some gold, some gem set etc. We've picked out a few choice lots for you yeah, though. Yeah, have got some nice things here today. So, 1885, yep. look at that, that's a sort of box link bracelet in, in Tessa's nine carat gold. It's foreign, so it's not English hallmarked. Reasonable weight and substance to it. Estimate two to three hundred pounds. Nice. Then, in order, these bird brooches are all very fashionable again. It's really the ones from the sort of 50s and 60s and 70s that are most sought after. It's but very smart. this one is in Italian. It's fully marked, 18 karat gold. And that's enameled, is it? That's enameled. Mm -hmm. uh, estimates two to three hundred pounds. Colours are fab. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, here's something a little bit different. 1913. Uh, I think Roger said something along the lines of a shame it's got a beardy bloke on it. Um, well, it, as we said, it's a bit like you before you had your hair cut. Something very similar yes. and similar Maybe rate. Maybe I should have it. Similar rate of balding as well. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, there's an unusual Victorian jewel, um, 1913, with coral, pearls, lapis, diamond. It's all going so, on. So, so why would there be this gentleman in the middle? Is, is this um, some form of mourning brooch? I can or? only assume, yeah, his good lady wife wanted to... Uh, commemorate him yeah. yes 1913 six okay. to eight hundred that one there's quite a lot of gold going on as well right uh then something for the ladies as always at 1921 nice that's quite but well, it's fairly shiny isn't it yeah. so that's diamond set steel steel which is quite a popular combination these days and the because make it's more affordable i suppose so yes that's very true if it was white gold or plat it would be yeah hugely expensive yeah. um barthelay is the make right Barthelay, it says it on the side. Never heard of it. No, it says it on the back. It says Barthelay uh, Les Sloan. Ah, Maybe that suggests nice, something to do with Sloan. Nice bracelet. Um, but nice thing, a yeah. sensible estimate, four to six hundred pounds. Doesn't seem too expensive for a nice little thing there. Yeah. Uh, a more well known make, 1915, Baume and Mercier. Ah, there we are, okay. very smart. That's um, 18 karat white gold. Yeah. Diamond set all around the bezel. Right. Lovely, nice, clean condition. Nice, Often these bracelets get a bit twisted from wear, but that hasn't happened in this case. It's absolutely mint. Kept for best. In a box, not an, probably not an original box, but in a box. There we go. Estimate twelve to eighteen hundred. Mm. Uh, what else have we got? Nineteen twenty-four. How about those pair of earrings? They are. Oh, aren't they pretty? How do they work? So they're Mabby pearl diamond set, and they are. Oh, I see. They are. There we are. They're ear studs. Yes, but, but um, they drop. That's right, well, yeah, they'd sort of sit. Yeah, you know, there's the Very there's pretty. the pin. So, so those are uh, unmarked white metal, white gold one would imagine. Okay. Um, lot nineteen twenty four, low estimate, hundred hundred and fifty. You can sell so, that. So I'm when sure. um, Rog catalogues things as white metal, um, could that be silver? Could that be gold? Well, yeah, it's it could be either. Right. So he'll he'll we're sort of encouraging him to say whether it sort of tests as gold rather okay. than whether it tests as silver because it's obviously there's quite a big difference yes. there. Uh, Nineteen twenty seven. Great fun. Look at that. That's yeah. great fun. That sort of X shape ring, lattice it's shape. Like a crown. Um, it obviously needs to be the right size for the wearer. It'd be difficult to adapt. Um, estimate two fifty three hundred. Great and then something for a gentleman, last but not wow. least, two pairs Those of very cufflinks dressy, with that they? nice practical um, T link, so it's nice and easy oh, to yes, put them on. Like those, um, those are set sapphires, those are set emeralds, they are mm. textured white metal that test as gold, but we haven't ascertained what level of gold. Okay. Um, they're almost certainly foreign, probably Italian, and um, one would expect them to be near 18, but we don't, we don't, haven't said for sure. Lot 1928, two to 300 pound estimate, can't be bad. Good. So there we go, nice Very little nice. lot of, of uh, jewellery there. Let's go and poke about in the smalls. Okay. okay, so in the land of silver, a little bit modest uh, offering this time, but in amongst it, some treasures. This is lot number 1805. Nice little Chinese silver, white metal casket. It's marked, it's got the 90 standard upon it, it's decorated with bamboo, just a sort of sweet little thing yeah, that, 1805. Nice. I like the one behind as well. The one behind is not Chinese, that's more sort of Middle Eastern by the looks of things, 1806. It's rather a nice You've pattern. got birds and foliage yeah. decorating that one. Um, and then we've got some modern textured silver here. This is lot 1804, very much in the manner of sort of Gerald Berry, uh, Benny. Um, nice textured tumbler and a pair of whatever you want them to be dishes. They've got some sort of marking underneath that I'm struggling to read. 
Um, but, um, Do you think they're for wine? No. No, they haven't got, got a flat a base. They're more no. like ashtrays or nut oh, dishes, okay. aren't they, I guess? Yes. Um, but, uh, yeah. Um, nice oh, maybe they are Gerald Benny, in fact, looking at the mark. Um, there we go. Nice little lot, that. Mm. 1804. And uh, down below, some of these whiskey flagons, always popular. These are unusual in that they're cut. Typically, they're plain, but right. these have been cut glass, set of four with the labels, silver mounted. These little noggins always go rather well. So they're going to make sort of so, 4 so to 600. So just for an individual? Yes. An individual serving in a sort of club atmosphere, I suppose. <laughs> oh, what fun. Um, novelty pincushion there. Sort of not quite a horseshoe, but... Hat, I think. Hat, Maybe. yeah. There we go. That is yeah. lot number 1812. Oh. Um and then some larger things here. Don't know what they are. Let's have a look. This is unusual, isn't it? 1819. This is continental, I would say, white metal mounted, sort of plastic, basically, Bakelite. Oh, really? Cutting edge material in oh, its day. Yeah. Uh, looks like it's got an English hallmark hidden within it. So oh. that's a little bit different. And then there's a modern rose bowl here. Lot 1821. Huge great hallmarks. Look at yes. those. Um, comes with a little ebonized, little wooden plinth, rather. Uh, to my wonderful partner, Rini. Oh. Rini Florist. Hmm. 1951 to 1976. Oh. There we go. A rose bowl for Rini the Florist. But, gosh, yes. How nice. Not so, 1821. So, so that would clean up, would yeah, it? Yeah, that will clean up. Yeah. Yes, it's just sort of oxidised. Right. So there we go. Some interesting bits of silver. Then behind the counter, you noticed, funnily enough, <laughs> you spotted I like Cartier. these boxes, yes. So what have we got here? 1468. That's very sweet, isn't a it? A rather smart it's looking little purse. Yeah. Two colour, look. Like Gold black. and white metal well, colours. Like, uh, rings and... Yeah, very nice. That bracelet. lovely clean condition by the looks of it. In its original box. Lovely. There we go. Yep. Next to it, Hermes. The scarf. Nice scarf. Want it opened out? Yeah, why not? Yeah, she says. Why not? Gosh, that's... Wow, that's... Yeah, there we are. Yeah, sort of Indian. I was... Sort of, yeah. yeah, quite fun. So there's a nice little kind of... scarf. Then we've got some Louis, Louis Vuitton, yeah. 1466. Little clutch bag, yeah. 1465. Bulgari. Nice Bulgari silk yes, that's nice. scarf there. Yeah. These fun characters upon it. Yeah, we're more getting more Louis. and more of this. It's great, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. So well. more bags, etc. Yes. So there we go. We've got Chinese up above it, also in the cell. And we saw these at the corner of our eye Not last sweet, video. Yeah. Some Bellamines, 1447. 1448, we're going to find more out in the on the open shelves. With these nice sort of beardy face masks, typically German, salt glaze, always rather pleasing. There's something pleasant about their shape and mm. form. They feel tac tactile yes. pleasing. Um, and like they have this the kind beard. of character. Great, yeah. So uh, let's go and see what else is lurking beyond. Um, lots of jades and carvings down here that Dan will have dealt with um, in the sort of 1490s, 1500 lot numbers. One example there, but plenty more to feast like your mouse, eyes on. Mouse, on, mouse on, on isn't it? Yes, it is, isn't it? Yeah. It's a rat. Oh, sorry, rat. Year of the rat, Year 1491. The rat, yes. Out in the shelves then, what are we looking at? Well, we've got some clocks by the looks of things. That's reasonably showy. Mm. Uh, a little bit late in date, but um, still quite nice. Looks probably late 19th, early 20th century, that one, 1260. Oh, okay. Uh, up above it, this passed my eye Monday morning, I think, and we looked at the the, the signature, which um, Tricule, um, but the initial doesn't really tie in with the Eugene, who's the recorded Tricule. So um, we're, we're going to hedge our bets on that. But we put two to three hundred. Nice looking picture, lot yes. sixteen fifty one. Yep. Very stylish um, dressing table mirror yeah, like or that. hanging mirror. This one's a hanging mirror, actually. Nice, nice quality wooden back. Yeah. Arts and crafts, pewter overlay, sort of Ruskin stone style inlay. Mm. Possibly English, possibly continental. 1269 either way. Um, and then, well, there's Nelson's down there. He's quite nice. One of these um, sequin ornamented prints are the kind of fun that's lot 1253 yeah that's quite a jazzy admiral lord nelson it certainly is so what else can we find i'm going to spin around and carry on down here fancy going fishing that's for lot fishing 1285 Gosh, what hardy brothers case. the it's people nice hardy brothers of all yeah um and i guess it's for all your reels and everything yes. so uh, that's a pretty posh it's really bit of, posh. Uh, fishing kit isn't it yeah. um i'm seeing some studio pottery yeah i'm looking down the end there and i'm going to go down here more of these um 
tinseled pictures. Ah. 1311, there's St. George. So what sort of age are these? Oh, these are Victorian. So these will be, George look at the these maple look. frames, um, probably around about sort of 1860, 1870, I guess. Oh. And with it, you get Mr. Cooper as Zanga, the Tartar chief. Isn't that great? He's looking very ominous. But this foil decoration just gives them that lift that yeah. puts them into a whole different field. Up above, 1301, Richard III. Not looking too happy. No. Um, there's some wine. We had a lot of wine last week. Did very well. Uh, less wine this week, but still some there. A cobra. Mm. A cobra. Uh, that is lot number 1316, <laughs> should you require one. <laughs> nice dessert service here. 1318. Oh, Look I at that. Lovely might. pattern. Yes. Um, apparently unmarked, or at least that plate is. Let's check a dish or two. Oh, Sometimes you get it. Like Similar to Spode or somebody of that mm. ilk. 1820, 1810, I would say baskets with it i think that's a nice decorator's lot because it's a pretty and it's a pleasing pattern i was thinking it? that would make a great dog water bowl well perhaps it was a, a big... great dog. look at that isn't that cool oh, it's a lump yes that would keep them in water for <laughs> 10 it? minutes yeah. moira pottery in england post 1910 <laughs> with it you get another dog bowl <coughs> lot 1319 keep those dogs watered in yes, the hot weather exactly so desk lamps blue and white pottery Round the corner, Chinese vases, lots of Chinese things in boxes. Mm. Sort of these sort of in these in these nicely made boxes such as 1339, but suggests that they're not of great age, but do have some age. Um, some old Sheffield plate, 1338, a nice set of four of these baskets. Perhaps they had liners at one time, but they're again that sort of Regency-ish period. More Chinese. I haven't seen the other bellamines yet. Not quite sure why I haven't spotted those, but perhaps they're in a different cell. They may have been held, in fact, for the uh, for a fine cell, the other ones we saw. Uh, along here, Mr. Coates is uh, sewing cotton. One of these nice cases, 1396. And it's actually done that way to for a shop ah, yes. counter. So the, the retailer can open it up and um, the, the other the customer can't see within so easily. Uh, we've got a little clock here, Hill of London. I guess that's round about 1810 to 1820, perhaps a little bit later. It's lot 1403, it's got its bracket. It's, you get a, a bit of pendulum, which suggests it might be a slightly low quality movement. Um, no, it looks okay. It even looks like the pendulum's associated, in fact. Um, so there we go, a bit of TikTok. 1529, uniforms. 1686, views of notable um, Sussex castles. Ah, Arundel. Yeah. Hmm. Gosh, Round that's... here, 1414, a whiskey decanter. Look at that, this reeded glass or ribbed glass, engraved whiskey with an EY, <laughs> and then with a silver mounted stopper. Quite fun, that. Yeah. 1414. Great Not fun. sure quite what it's in with, whether no. it might be in with those bits. Next to a telephone, 1415. As ever, everything's here. There's even some records. We've got the, I can see the Beatles, Sinatra, jazz, etc. So uh, hopefully something for everyone. And we'll go and have a look at the furniture. Is that right? Yeah, that we'll would be. Okay. What's in the warehouse? Well, we don't know. So we're, we're as fresh to it as you are. I'm going to drift backwards and we'll exclaim about things. Nice chairs. Nice chairs, yes, so lot number, good start. Well, 1104 um, is... How about is... up here? 1153. Oh, okay. A uh, set of four. Yeah, they're nice. Just days. nice, solid oak ladderback chairs with yeah. rush seats. Look to be okay, but do ask for a condition yes. report. We're still getting people buying. And then they say, oh, it had a wobbly leg. And you say, well, did you ask for a report? And they say, no, I didn't think I had to. Well, you do have to ask for a condition Absolutely. report. Absolutely. As with pretty well every other auction room in the country. Uh, so, carrying on, I quite like the look of these. Oh, they're a little bit tired, aren't 10, they? 1063, so nice. I would say. Looks like you're getting the whole lot. What's underneath is not quite so old, and then what's above ah. um, has got more age. Um, but uh, a nice um, nest of drawers yeah. there. 1063. Um, carrying on, always look down. There's carpets. 1065 yes. here. Not this a one's a nice looking, one, isn't it? Um, russet ground carpet. Mm. And then Gen there's far more. Um, Sort of this is very deco, isn't deco, it? Deco, I'd very say. Very deco, this one. Yeah. A bit worn, down yes. to the pile. It's a shame, um, it's nice though. Over there. 
That's an early piece. That's an early uh, 18th century oak chest on the stand with most so, of its yes. stand missing. So we talked about this before. Um, here are the feet. This is the original stretcher. Right. And then you would have had legs to here. Oh, And yes. then that's where this bit. So they've kept the stretcher underneath it, which is huh. sort of quirky yes. and unusual. Lot 1072, that one. A uh, little bit of Art Nouveau creeping in, I've seen. 1091 is a single chair with a bit of inlay so, to the back. So why is that? How do you know that's Nouveau rather than Deco? Uh, well, Deco pattern? is more geometric. I mean, this is a more Deco-inspired table. It's more oh, okay. geometric. Right. Nouveau is more scrolly and, uh, and sort of stylized okay. floral. A couple of big cushions here. Look at these. 1088. Oh, those are great, aren't they? Must be whopping great sort of yes. Keynesian type. Almost sort of floral. Yeah. Not a bad dresser base. Reoffer. 1084. We couldn't get 75 quid for that. So it's back at less money. Doesn't seem expensive, does well, it? Well, it'll fit perfectly somewhere, but there's not a lot of places. Might be stripping down, I think. Yeah. Mm, maybe. It's not the best of finishes, no. but it's usable. Uh, throughout the sale, a number of these Indian landscape paintings. Right. You've seen just about through the chairs, 1705. Yeah. Ah, okay. Further on down, we've just passed that, 1036. Look at that, that sort of gilt display piece. Yes. I'm amazed that didn't go again. It was in at 600. Yeah. Next time it'll be in at less money. I think 600 was a bit pushy, so I'm not too surprised that didn't sell. Uh, nice little wall clock there. Lewis Maker, F. Cometti, 1033. Here's another one of these. This is really old. Come down here. So okay. These are lot 1704. There are. Great size, They're aren't great they? Great big things. Yes. You get two in the lot, and right. then there's another lot further on, ah. which you never know might be 1703. Yes. So if you need some big Indian wall filler, those might be for you. Yeah. So drifting backwards again, there's a little Art Nouveau piece again, little commode. Did we talk about that before, or is it another one? Oh, I, I wonder. Uh, that, that, that's a lot of uh, two, two nice items. Nice small coffer here. 1045, 1836. 1836, it's elm. Nice timber, much nicer than oak. Mm. Original hinges. I don't hinges. know if I can smell it. I can smell something that smells well, really nice. I can smell something down yeah, here. Yeah, no, this smells nice. How about 1043? Good Look grief. at this. Looks What's like that a... for? It looks like a heated neck rest, doesn't it? Um, well, it's a late Victorian patent. Torture. It's a barber's chair. It's a patent barber's chair. Gosh. So there we go. Oh. No, no thanks. Good. Look at these no, chairs. Yes, so these are what they call Gainsborough chairs in terms of the model that has this sloping down front in front right. of the arms. Um, you've got quite a number of them, haven't you? You um, certainly do. In um, two, 1038. Four, six, eight. They're back again as a reoffer. They're reproductions, they're nicely made, but it's going to cost a few quid to upholster those. So yes. that's going to be what holds those back from racing away. Yeah. Uh, some big leather cases here in the 1155 region. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, a bit squidgy, that's perhaps why those are coming back in. N now, um, do you think this will be popular? Well, this looks like G-Plan to yes. me, or Urkel. It's lot number 1124. It, it Again, it's a re-offer. It didn't go before. Interesting. Um, it was in at 150, so that means we might have sold it for about 70, 80 pounds. And okay. it is G-Plan. Right. So all this talk about G-Plan being very chairs. desirable yeah. is not strictly true. And no. I think that's partly because dressing tables are not that wanted. That's quite a big lump. That's nice. Yeah, that's quite nice, isn't it? Again, yeah. it's got a sort of... Art Nouveau element to it, mm, um, nice. in the handles, yeah, handles elsewhere, it's in oak, it's cheap as chips, this sort of thing at the moment, it's just too big and brown, taking up too much yes. space. Um, so yeah, I'm seeing lots of sort of perfectly nice things, I think is how I'd put it, Yeah. Uh, without getting wildly excited, nice, you know, nice pleasant George III chest there, bracket feet, uh, looks like original handles, lot number 1113. Opposite this um, unusual bureau bookcase, it? it's the poor thing in terms of today's market. It's stylish, but not stylish enough. Yeah. We've got these sort of nouveau handles. Yes. We've got Viking ships on the fall. Yeah, that would um, me off a bit I like the seagulls. It's probably <laughs> the nicest thing about it. But next to it, I do like this. this one, 1142, carries yes. a little bit more oomph. Um, you've got this rather pleasingly grained oak with yeah. these copper appliques. Shame the glass has been bashed from the inside. Yeah. That's going to be a bit of a fiddle to sort out. Yes. Nice handles, hanging space. Yeah. Yep. Nice. And then opposed by 
drawers and shelves, so quite useful. Mm. Um, 11.42, probably I wonder not if quite that's fixable. Enough. No, you don't think so? No, I don't think it's got mm. quite enough room okay. to really go, but, um, but it's, it's, it's better than many. And then here we've got a chest which has sort of been campaigned. I don't know that it started life in such a manner, but it's been had inset handles that have gone a bit close to the escutcheons. Right. And it's had these little brass mounts and the loop handles, so it's sort of almost been converted to a campaign chest. Um, but still, that gives it a bit more decorative of it's 1108. Yeah. Outside. Outside. Outside, there's a so whole... outside, again, nice big run of garden furniture, 1176, yeah. this pair of reconstituted stone urns on pedestals. You've got the old teak tables and chairs with parasols, pots, metal chairs, there's more over Gosh, the other way. Lots. Yep. So now there's a the whole load there. more garden. Get out in the garden, it's not raining yet. Uh, watch the cricket or the tennis or whatever you fancy. Um, but yes, lots of garden things, lots of other goodies to see. Come along and have a view and we hope you enjoy. Thank you.